Hello there and welcome to the first of our tutorials on low budget filmmaking. Today we're going to look at the boom microphone. Very often um, when you're shooting on a budget you might feel tempted to use the microphone within your camera. Don't, it's a mistake. Regardless of the fact that I'm currently shooting on uh, the microphone in my camera so that I can show you my boom mic, it's not really recommended when you're making a short film. You'll usually have lower sound quality and if you're shooting a distance away from your actors and you want the sound to sound crisp and clear, you will need to get the sound recorded from closer to your actors. This is where a boom microphone comes in. They sound very expensive, you see them on all the big Hollywood film shoots, but there are ways of producing them cheaper at home. In fact, I'm going to show you how to prepare one for under £50 that you can use again and again and again on all your different film projects. So, obviously, the first thing you're going to need is the microphone. You can buy a boom microphone or a shotgun mic on eBay for around £30. Now, this is the one I bought that was £30. It came with the windshield, which is very useful when shooting out of doors. And you will need a stereo sound cable. Very often the microphone that you buy doesn't come with a stereo sound cable and it's only mono. The best way to tell when I find you the correct end, here we are, is that with a mono cable you will only have one coloured band in the cable, whereas for a stereo cable like this you have two dark bands. They can be other colours, but for, on this the two bands are black. That tells you that this is a stereo cable. As I say, the one you get with your microphone is normally mono, so to be on the safe side, invest in an extra cable. Uh, the one I bought is 30 metres and it cost me all of £12. So this, this is the other end that will plug directly into the back of my microphone. So, if I plug that in, we should be ready to go. So that's all plugged in. Next, you need to think about the pole that you're going to have the microphone on, because after all, that's the whole idea of a boom mic. If you look online, the cheapest uh, boom poles that you get, specifically boom microphone poles, are around £60. However, a good friend of mine turned round and came up with another suggestion. He suggested nothing other than a washing line pole. Now the washing line pole that I bought here extends to 13 feet. It's metal and although it doesn't have a specific connector that I can put the microphone onto, cello tape and gaffer tape work equally well. So I've been able to attach the microphone to the washing line pole simply with tape and it actually holds quite strong. To extend the washing line pole all I need to do is unscrew that and it will extend. Obviously again to stop your having stop having a mess with cables because obviously by the time you end up with a rat's nest of cables it can get a bit much. I simply used the velcro cable ties that actually came in the packaging with the sound cable and put them around the pole. Now those, being loose, will also extend as required. So when I extend the cable, the cable extends with it. And that, in a nutshell, is how to create a boom microphone. The microphone here was £30, the pole was £6, and the cable was another £12. So in all, you can produce this for under £50. 